of electrons that will pass through. After the grid, we have the anode. The anode is the last part of our electron gun. What are the functions of the anode? The anode has two functions. One is to accelerate the cathodes towards the screen, towards the screen, and two is to focus the cathodes on the screen. Focusing will also use another term and talk of converge. It converges the electrons or the cathodes on the screen. How does the anode manage to accelerate the cathode rays? The anode is connected to the positive terminal of our extra high tension voltage which is a direct current, a DC. We make it to be at a very high voltage compared to the cathode. It is at a very high positive potential and we can vary that voltage as well. We can either increase it or reduce it. Because it's at a very high voltage, immediately the electrons are produced. Remember, an electron is very light particle, a very light particle. It is attracted at a very high speed towards the anode or by the anode, and it is accelerated towards the screen. So the anode is able to accelerate the cathodes because it is at a very high positive potential. Then we look at how does it manage to focus the cathode rays, or how does it manage to converge the cathode rays. Looking at the anode, it has two parts. There is this part here, this plate, and there is a second plate there. If I was to draw them here, this is the first part of the anode, and there is another part here, so let's call this A and we call that B. So A is the part closer to the cathode and B is the part that is closer to the screen. We make the anode such that it is connected to the positive of the EHT, but the two are connected differently. We have a potential divide here, which we can use to vary the voltage between A and B. Whereby, we make plate B to be at a higher potential. B is at a higher potential compared to A. So, even though both are connected to the positive terminal, a very high voltage, but we are making B to be slightly higher than A. When that happens, it means here we have a very strong potential difference, and here we have a slightly weaker potential difference. Therefore, we create an electric field moving from where we have a strong electric field to, or we create a field from the strong positive potential or a higher positive potential to the lower positive potential. The field is created this way. Therefore, as the cathode rays, remember, they are now diverging out, as they get to this field, which is moving in the opposite direction, then it makes these cathode rays to be converged on the screen. So if we did have this field, then the whole of this beam would fall on the screen within a very wide area. 
But after we create this field to be at a, that is, we create this field by making B to be at a higher positive potential and A at a lower positive potential, then we create this field from B to A. That field helps us because it's moving in the opposite direction to the direction of the cathode rays. It makes the cathode ray to be focused. And therefore, it will fall here at a converged point. And therefore, as well, it will also increase the intensity. So that is how the anode manages to focus the beam. We control this potential divider with what we call on the CRO. We have the focusing the focusing knob. So we can vary, and when you are varying this potential divider, we are simply varying the potential of B to that of A. If we want to make it very sharp, then we higher increase the positivity of B relative to that of A. If we want it to not to be very focused, then we reduce this positivity of B relative to that of A, but still it will be at a higher value compared to that of A. So that is the electron gun. We have seen the cathode, the grid, and the anode and its function. In our next part, we'll be looking at the deflecting system and the screen.